Hello and very warm welcome to Dr. Zia Ahmed's YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the topic Mrs. Ramsey's 12 pairs of eyes as the writer herself uses this term in her novel To the Lighthouse where she says that Mrs. Ramsey had 12 pairs of eyes. Let us see how she was going to have 12 pairs of eyes. For this purpose, however, we need to talk about first of all the relationship between Mr. Ramsey and Mrs. Ramsey and how these uh, pairs of eyes can count among their relationship. Most of the time it is considered that perhaps uh, Mrs. Ramsey was very careful, very much caring and all the time paying attention to everybody and at least 12 characters were there on whom she paid her attention. So one of the ways to understand this phrase is to see how she behaved with such people. But another view is that how these people, 12 in number, go to talk about Mrs. Ramsey, what is their view, and that is why Mrs. Ramsey is viewed by them with their own eyes, and that is why 12 pairs of eyes become. Uh, we know very well that in the novel this thing could be talked that she had more caring nature and that is why the 12 pairs of eyes are talked about but then uh, the second view should also be given weight age why and how she was seen by the other people in that sense how did she have 12 pairs of eyes like we see that Mr. Ramsey uh, taught her a type of mixture of admiration and dependence and he got a lot of emotional strength and support from her uh, but he could not 100% appreciate her so according to this point of view Mrs. Ramsey was appreciated was considered good and at the time of emotional support she was welcome but then he was unable to support unable to appreciate her characters fully so this is one of the views how the pairs of eyes in case of Mr. Ramsey were there. Same can be the case with respect to James, who is the son of uh, Mrs. Ramsey. Uh, this, this boy was all the time taking her as a source of comfort and warmth. He all the time felt very comfortable in her arms and whenever he was with her at that time, he felt the warmth of a mother as well. But then when he grows up, he begins to feel that the mother had been having a lot of sacrifices she was giving for the sake of her son, for the sake of her family, and for the sake of the comfort of the family. So he begins to look at her even with more care, more attention, and more appreciation. So in that way, uh, Miss James had this type of views about his mother, that is the second pair of eyes. The third pair of eyes, Lady Briscoe's pair of eyes, she thought that Mr. Ramsey is a particular blend of reverence and frustration. Uh, well, she had this idea about Mr. Ramsey that she was beautiful, charismatic, and had the ability to keep the people together. In that way, Lady Briscoe wanted to appreciate and wanted to copy that desire as well. But as Lady Briscoe was a modern woman, she did not like Mr. Ramsey's becoming a household woman and trying to attach herself with her house in such a way that she didn't have her own independent personality. So that view of Lily Briscoe becomes the next pair of eyes and that's the way how she was seen by Lily Briscoe. And similarly, if we talk about Charles Tensley, the youngest student, youngest scholar in this family, he's not the son or daughter, but he's rather the student of Mr. Ramsey. He had also his own view of Mr. Ramsey. According to him, she was a figure of both allure and resentment, that she had charming personality and she could give warmth to the people as well. But then he was irritated most of the time because of her patronizing attitude, which he felt that this type of attitude was there. Uh, however, there was a good interaction between these two people, uh, but still he had this type of view that she was having some time patronizing attitude, although she was, according to him, a very good woman as well. So Mr. Tensley did have his own views, so the next pair of eyes of that of Mr. Tensley is there with which he saw Mrs. Ramsey. Mr. Ramsey had a daughter, Prue, who was thought to be the most beautiful daughter. And she thought that Mr. Ramsey, the mother, was a blend of love and aspiration. She admired the gracefulness of her mother and the competence of marriage in the household also. She admired very much. 
Uh, she thought that the expectations were more on her mother and she was all the time under the pressure of these expectations and that is why this thing had become a big burden for her according to Prue, the daughter of uh, Mr. Ramsey. Prue also had her own view that is why she is also one of the peers of eyes with which Mr. Ramsey is looked upon. And same is the case with Nancy, another daughter of uh, Mrs. Ramsey. Nancy thought about her mother that uh, that she was mother was having a lot of good qualities, and she appreciated that. But then mother had traditional role and expectation also, and that is why she was critical of her mother and wanted to wanted her to rebel against such a situation. But then uh, she was a daughter and she couldn't force that kind of thing. So she saw uh, a type of femininity, conventional femininity was there. But then Prue um, and and uh, this this uh, Nancy thought that the mother should be more modern mother should be more enjoying her life rather than clinging to her domestic role. Same thing we can talk about William Banks who was also having a view of Mrs. Ramsey. According to William Banks who was a friend of Mr. Ramsey, Mrs. Ramsey was a symbol of domestic harmony and elegance. He appreciated her beauty and ability to create a pleasant and nurturing environment contrasting with his own solitary existence. So in that way uh, that Banks had admired his admiration but had was was also sometimes tinged with a little bit of longing of stability and warmth that Mr. Ramsey embodies. So in this way he had a lot of positive attitude about her, he appreciated her, taught her to be a domestic harmony symbol and an elegance as well. So Mr. Ramsey uh, was seen by Augustus Carmichael also with his own view how she was. Carmichael thought that uh, he he thought about her a lot of things, but most of the time he remained indifferent. He appreciated her kindness, but he did not talk to her, didn't come close to her. And as a result, it was a kind of lack of attraction which he felt towards this character, Miss Ramsey. So that was another view of looking at Miss Ramsey, that she couldn't inspire some of the people who could come close to her. And then comes uh, with the eye of Minta Doyle, who was a guest at the house of Miss Ramsey. Uh, however, she was much impressed by the social grace, by aspiring, emulating her. She wanted to, and the same way she thought very good of her and wanted to become the character like her. So in this way, she was truly influenced and impacted by the behavior and style of uh, uh, Mr. Ramsey, so that is why we can say that Minta Doyle thought very positive and wanted to emulate her at every cast, at every place, and at every time. So, in that way, this is the view or the pair of eyes of Minta Doyle upon her. We can also talk and see that uh, there was another character, Riley, who was the lover of Minta Doyle. He was staying with them and he had also his own view about Mr. Ramsey. For example, we can say that he saw with a sense of gratitude and respect and he wanted uh, to look uh, for such a person to be benevolent and a guiding type of person and he wanted that somehow uh, this Minta should have these qualities as well. So both of these people who became the couple with the passage of time in the novel, they, they are really very much appreciative for this Mr. Ramsey. So that is the pair of eyes of these two people. And then comes then comes the next one, the that is Cam's. Uh, Cam's pair of eyes, how she looked at Mr. Ramsey. Kim was the youngest daughter and saw the mother with a mixture of adoration and puzzlement as well. So in that way, she loved her mother. She thought that she was good and great, but certain things she didn't possibly understand. That's why she thought that her mother was like a puzzle also. And so in that way, Cam's innocent point of view comes forward because she's very young and she thought about her mother. It's a kind of purity which she felt about her. Uh, and the love of her mother, so in this way, this is the innocent point of view about her mother, Mrs. Ramsey. We can also talk in a very different view that how Mrs. Ramsey herself looked at herself, what kind of qualities, what kind of aspirations, desires and longings she felt about herself, her own view, her own, the pair of eyes with which she had a look at her, what was that kind of thing. 
uh, she thought that she was the one who could hold everything together in order to keep the things together, keep the things in harmony, keep the things in touch with each other. That was the type of dialogue she had often with her. But because of her limitations, sometimes she didn't succeed, but most of the time she wanted to have this type of idea. And that is the last pair of eyes about herself, that how she thought about herself. We can now conclude that this character of Miss Ramsey was a type of lighthouse and she thought about herself the same way. People thought about her the same way. She had a very good type of set of habits and she wanted to become a person who should have the, the 12 pairs of eyes. How the people looked at her and how she wanted to fulfill the expectations of people. She made a very best effort to do so. Many people appreciated her but then the human deficiency or discrepancy can also be there. Uh, such a great character, great character was drawn in, in the true modern literature where such a woman is present. So we have the psychological analysis, we have the uh, the things which are associated with this woman as a mother, as a wife, and as a friend, and so many other things were there. All these things people see with different eyes, so at least 12 pairs of eyes were there, which Mr. Ramsey had, and in return she also wanted to look at each everybody with respect to that way. So 12 pairs of eyes also symbolically mean that she thought how one person was and she tried to deal with that person the same way. So everybody had a mixture of feeling about her, but most of the time everyone had a very positive point of view. So thank you very much for watching the whole scenario. If you like it, do not fail to hit the subscribe button and the like button. And if you give a comment sometime, I may be able to answer that. So see you in some next video. Thank you for watching.